let's be very practical about this. I'm not gonna tell you any stupid techniques that, that like, I'm not gonna tell you to do yoga or enter a certain mind state or anything like that. None of that works. I'm gonna give you a scientific approach to make you more talkative, more excited, more enthusiastic about what you're actually doing in game, and it'll actually carry on in life. And now no one ever, I'm gonna play the game just for the background. No one ever believes me when I tell them this. Let me tell you what the method is. What you have to do, and listen carefully, and I'm, I'm not fucking around. I'm gonna make a video of me doing this and I'll show you the before and after, okay? What you have to do is go into your fridge, grab a half of an onion and one big clove of garlic, okay? And you have to eat those raw. Chomp them up, wash it down with a lot of water, then have maybe a little juice. What it does, it, it, it increases your baseline testosterone, it increases your, uh, the garlic especially, increases your baseline serotonin, and that what that combination does is it makes you more aggressive, more outgoing, uh, just it, it, it increases your personality in size, and then the serotonin takes the edge off of the aggressiveness. But let me quickly show you what the difference is between before and after. And fuck, I'm gonna die, I don't wanna die. I'm gonna grab that health pack and grab the star over there. Health pack and star, punch the puppies. Cool, I'm gonna punch the puppies in this. Let's, let's grab some bounty, very nice. Ammo, health, and uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good, okay. So now I, I'm, I'm starting to feel a kick in. The stream of consciousness is working. Now I'm gonna give you some practical tips th th that don't involve ingesting any nastiness. Something that I learned from, and d don't laugh, but it, it, I learned it from Simple Pickup. Simple Pickup does a lot of, I don't know, a lot of social justice warriors would call it questionable. Uh, they have a lot of questionable behavior on their on their channel. What they do is they pick up girls. They talk to them using certain methods that they've essentially cataloged and, and they turned it into a science so that anyone can do it. And that upsets a lot of people for reasons I don't understand. Maybe because it artificially increases certain people's uh, viability as a mate. But even then, it, sh it shouldn't bother people. That doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, what I learned from them is, uh, first let me give you some, some background. I had for a very long time difficulty creating conversation. Having conversations with anyone, not just strangers, but even my friends. In, in a group of people, I would sit silently against the wall and just sort of watch and space out really because I felt very uncomfortable with the fact that no one was saying anything. And I would end at the thought that it's because of my presence that there's nothing being said. And that's, that's a dangerous way to think. And at the same time, uh, a, an incredibly unproductive way to think. So what I took from them, uh, they have this one video that is called, very aptly, what to do when you have nothing to say. What should you say when, when there is nothing to say? And what they say in that video is to lower the bar for what's coming out of your mouth. Because people aren't as judgmental as you think they are. Not everything that comes out of your mouth has to be the, uh, the pinnacle of human intelligence or, or comedy. It just has to be entertaining enough for people to keep listening, for people to keep watching, and that's all. That's the first thing. So that, that's, uh, that's just for when you really, you're just starting and you don't know what you're doing at all. Making any sort of conversation is better than making no conversation. Uh, another tip that is for more advanced users? No, for more advanced practitioners of these methods, I'm gonna die here. Another tip for uh, creating entertaining content is to insert outside information that you have into the game, into the dialogue, into what you're saying. And uh, the reason that's awesome is because people don't know what's in your mind. People don't have your unique perspective. So it's interesting to see others who have similar interests, meaning this, they're playing the same games as you, they have the same interests, which is gaming, but they have a completely different lifestyle, they have completely different perspective on things, and that's what makes them interesting. So to insert yourself, I'll give you an example from my previous episode of Relic Hunters, what was going on. I ran out of things to say in the game, I noticed these things look like something, and, uh, and I turned that into an opportunity for a story, to inter insert my own experience into the video. So here it is. Uh, get get aggro, get aggro, bro. Anything, anything at all? No. These things remind me of SpongeBob for some reason. If SpongeBob had a video game, which it did, it had so many. Oh, that reminds me. When I was a kid, there was a. Uh, since I grew up in Toronto, in Canada, we didn't have uh, Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network. What we had 
was something called YTV. And on YTV, they often had video game game shows where kids would come on the show, they'd play video games, and if they did really well, they would move on to the next round or they would win just they would pick up <laughs> what they would do is they would stick their hand into a ball, uh, a huge a huge box full of ping pong balls, and whatever number was on the ping pong ball that they pulled out, that's uh, the, the number coincided with a prize that was on the wall, and that's the, the prize that they would get. And if you got the sparkly ping pong ball, you would get the biggest fucking prize. And it was like, oh my god, this is insane, and I've almost killed myself. Am I gonna do this whole thing again? So that's just one example. It might not be the funniest story in the world, it might not be the greatest, but it was entertaining enough to keep whoever was watching, watching for longer. So that's, that's one method. That's improvisation. That's yes and. It's You don't just have to focus on all of this. Yes, there is this, but there's also other stuff. There, there, there's the game. There's the goal of the game. There are the characters in the game and the plot. But there are also little bits and pieces that you can connect to, to other things in the world. From every conversation, there's an infinite number of derivative conversations that can be created. Just playing the game, this, this back wall looks like Legend of Zelda. The floor is tiled. It looks like my bathroom. Uh, ammo boxes are found in every game ever. This assault rifle is purple. It might be grape flavored. There's just, there's, you can connect an infinite number of things to this game and to any game, really. He's a donkey. He's, he's a donkey. His name is Ass. There's just a million jokes to make there. There's a fucking million, million jokes to, okay. That is how you insert yourself into the game. That's how you connect with your viewers. That's how... You add stories and anecdotes to your videos. That's how you keep people interested when there's nothing left to say in the game. And first and foremost, you can't do this when you're in the wrong mindset. And you can't push yourself into the right mindset. You can't be, you can't force yourself into a mindset just by willing it, just by thinking it. You can try, but you might end up, you often end up feeling fake, feeling forced. It doesn't sound right. What you have to do is actually change the chemical uh, reaction that's going on in your body that creates your personality. So if you're feeling bored, if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling empty, you're lacking a certain number of chemicals. You're lacking dopamine, you're lacking serotonin, you're lacking testosterone, you're lacking certain chemicals that can actually improve the way you feel, improve the way you behave, improve the way you entertain people. So first and foremost, eat that garlic. Eat them onions. That's how you will succeed. I promise you, if you do it, you will make better content. Without a doubt. And if you don't believe me, try it. Try it, make a before and after video, and I swear you will see a crazy improvement in, uh, in the quality of your video. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Thanks very much for watching. I'm getting a phone call. Bye-bye. Wait, no, no, over here, over here, somewhere over here, yes. I got this relic already, pineapple pudding, that's awesome, gives you more health up there, beautiful. Now I'm gonna go straight to, hmm, stage two, let's go straight to stage two and kick these motherfuckers and the emerald for Mr. Eggman, Eggman it is. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> Immediately I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, I know this game, this is Sonic Adventure Battle. Uh.